Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more. Lich Reeks. <laughs> let's, let's roll our die. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I was using my phone for the for the horrible joke. Okay, let's roll my die. There we go. That's Hunter. Hunter into the, uh, let me press the button. No, you know, I can. That's enough of that joke. That's enough of that joke for, uh, I think, ever, probably, right? I think, I think that's probably fair. But we're on a streak of 149. What are we doing special, you ask, for the 150th streak? That garbage joke, that was it. That's all I got for you. You may go, <laughs> you may go now. I, I hope, uh, I hope it was good enough for you. That's what we've been building up to for 150. It's my, uh, <laughs> 199 episode special? Rita, what are you doing for episode 200? I don't know. Just focus on the now instead of the tomorrow. How about that? I tell myself while secretly making it look like I'm telling you. Let's 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 stop with the uh, the meta commentary today. We didn't pick the wolf costume. That's a bad sign. That is a bad sign indeed. You know, I would not be shocked if we uh, we lost because of it. Go up. See, look at that. Bad sign. Bad sign. But anyway, true talk, we'll probably be fine. Like, statistically, we're going to be fine. And like I said all these other times, we'll probably know right away if the run is going to go down a bad route. Otherwise, it's going to be because of, like, an insane amount of, like, we just get cursed to cursed to hell or something and just not really prepared to handle it. it I have a feeling we, we're going to have a, a good, good idea. So... As of right now, are we going to lose? Statistically, like, no. But we don't need to talk about this anymore, he says for the second or third time. But what else do you talk about in a game of enter the gungeon on the first floor for the 700th hour in the game? You can talk about the characters. No, we don't do that anymore. We don't do that anymore. No, thank you. No way, no ma'am. We talk about what we hope, we hope we're going to get. I don't know. I just want something interesting. There's synergies in the game we haven't gotten yet. Hell, I'll take Cormorant. Give me some of that. All in all, just I want something novel. I want something new. I want something fresh. It's probably not going to be in a brown chest. But who knows? It could always be that, that one little piece that actually does make a big difference. Nothing in Gooped and Shop really excited me. It's not garbage, it just doesn't excite me. Mutation is like, is pretty good. I, I feel like people think it's better than it is. It's pretty good. Like it just, I don't know. It does, it gives you the knockback. It does like pretty good damage. Yes, it's nice that it's homing, but homing on a beam weapon is just like, not that. I don't know. You don't really need that. Uh, you don't really need homing on a beam weapon, to be quite honest with you. Like, we take this. Those are uh, those are free wins right there. So, are we gonna lose today? No, we just got the scrambler. That's like that sorts out like three problems that we could possibly have. Like even getting a gun, getting a gun that's good for bosses, getting a good that's uh, good that's good that's gun that's good. You know, English. Uh, good for bosses, good for room clear, good for ammo, just like in general. It just gets just dang good, and I mean, that makes this our passive chest. Ice bomb. Is there a synergy with the ice? Uh, it's, I don't even want to look it up. Super Bomber Pal. Okay, we shoot out two seemingly frost bombs. That's a new synergy. I, somehow I've never gotten this. Do they not freeze? It does pretty good damage. Truth be told, I kind of would rather be using the uh, the scrambler that I think it would do more for us. But wow, I, I gotta admit, this is like, this is pretty solid. 
I like that it doesn't leave an ice patch. Oh, I'm out of blanks. You've got to be kidding me every dang time. Every dang time. Oh, boy. But I, I like that it doesn't leave an ice patch. I'll, that's just the truth. I probably should have been using this scrambler, but I just got the fun new thing in my brain. Rito, go to the sewers. No. I don't want to. I don't want to. It is pooish down there. Quite literally. Right, I guess it's not really a sewers. It's just, it's sewer-like. Like, it's a game trope to have sewers in your game. So I consider, I just... Hey, that man got taken for a ride. I just, I consider it to be that, even though it's apparently not that. It's the oolet. It's like a... Isn't that just something that, la like a, a hidden part of a dungeon that lies underneath a trapdoor? It doesn't even necessarily have to be goopy, poison, gross. I think it just, I think it just is in this game. I think that that's the, uh, the general idea behind it. Ubiet. Ubilet. I don't know. I don't call it that because it's so much easier to call it the sewers. And nobody gets, uh, nobody gets mad at me for that. Which is great. So does this... It seemed like it was shooting out one bomb every once in a while. I didn't see what it was. I'm too lazy. So I will assume everything. No dodge, no hits. No cocoa bits. Easy enough. Oh, thank you. That makes up for <laughs> that makes up for the fact that I did not get the master on. That's just like a that's a pity pity heart right there, right there. Bopped. All right. Boop, boop. Yeah, this this is this is killing it, man. This little bomber synergy, I'm all over it. Oh. It's garbage, because it made it made me not dodge. Sarcasm, sarcasm. This is the internet. Can't can't be sarcastic without tagging it. Anywho. How's everybody doing today? It's so rude of me, I, I rarely ask. I rarely ask, how are you doing today? Retromation comment of the day. Tell me how you're doing, and if you feel like divulging the information, tell me why. And support everybody else in the comments with their day if it's not going well. Or tell them that you're happy to hear it. Use your own words and mean it. Don't just, don't just copy me. Just uh, support other people on their days, positive or negative. That's my demand. As your dictator, be good to each other. As your dictator in chief, I demand that you all play nice. Sorry, the power went to my head. I can't believe I would request that. I'm, I'm liking this little bomber synergy. It's, it's making it quite juicy. Like, little bomber is, I think, underrated by me on average but uh, this makes it pretty nice pretty dang nice pretty pretty dang nice oh oh i thought i would get him in the pit but it's a good start if we could get another little bomber synergy that'd be delicious we'd take it the delicious nutritious breakfast Speaking of delicious, nutritious breakfast, let's go over to the information <laughs> questions in the Discord. <laughs> in the Discord. That's what a, what a segue that is. Because I believe Unhappy asks, what is your favorite breakfast cereal? Mine is Raisin Bran, and I get bullied for it. Well, gotta say... 
Raisin Bran is pretty gross, so... I mean, I don't want to pile it on. I hope it's not actually a deep-seated issue you're having. But... God, I... Raisin Bran is, Bran is just, like, it's so disgusting to me. I don't really eat breakfast cereal, I'll be honest. But when I did, like, growing up, the kinds I kind of went for were, like, Frosted Flakes. It's just, yeah, like Frosted Flakes. Oh, I don't like that. That and, uh, feeling, when I was feeling feisty, oh, baby! I went for Corn Pops. I like to uh, imagine the people who <laughs> who are using this as a as a podcast thought that that was a reaction to to corn pops because uh, it was corn pops oh baby corn pops they just they just get me pumped amped the whole kitten caboodle. Anywho. Boop. All right. So far, so fine. So far, so fine. If we could get, like, I know there's some more synergies. That There's the King Bomber synergy. That would be nice just to have a... Double banger synergy going on. Oh, I feel like there's something else too that's really good. I know just the regular bomb, but that's a pretty tall order to ask for a an extra space bar slot and the bomb. It's like it's not that unrealistic, I guess, because it seems like the the plain old bomb is not that infrequent. Dear God, Holy Grail, Shaka Cola, M16. Somebody give me the ability to steal Pronto stat, please, Pronto. Boy, oh, boy. Pop him. Corn, pop him. Oh, baby. Hey, I wanted to flip that. Punk? Unnecessary, but cool. The actual frost bomb does freeze. Yeah, it does. It doesn't do very much damage, but it does freeze. Oh. None of these weapons are that effective for killing either of these enemies. CS Gath BW 1836. That feels like I'm reading a journal entry. Asks, what is the best life advice you've ever received? That is a question that I, I'm probably not going to come up with the most accurate answer for because I feel like I'd have to sit and think about it for a while to, to figure out what, what's truly the best advice I've ever received. Because I feel like and I, I think that most people are this way. Uh, I don't know. Like, it doesn't all like. I I've been shaped and formed and melted and morphed and from pieces of media from my childhood, from friends, from family, you know, everything like that. Over the course of the time, to sort of get where I am in general, I'll, I'll say the best. Like, I I definitely. I'd say, like, there's a, there's a couple, you know, just pieces of media that have been generally formative and and ha have shaped, like, how I perceive things. And weirdly enough, like, a, a big one is the TV show Community has, I feel like, really shaped, like, my uh, my outlook on a lot of things in a, in a positive way, in an optimistic way. Uh, but as another, like, just, I don't know, like, people... Growing up in a time of, of YouTube where people, like, really, like, normal people have platforms to say things that reach an extraordinary amount of ears. 
has, has been bizarre, like, growing up in the time where where I just hear hear opinions on podcasts, on on Let's Plays, uh, you know, like, stuff like that. I don't know, like, just growing up in a time where being, being told from so many different places, so many different things, that you just be unapologetically yourself if it doesn't hurt anybody like this this is my this is my crazy advice it's not crazy it's really common to for you guys hopefully maybe it's it'll be your life-changing thing be unapologetically yourself as long as you aren't harming anybody else's ability to be unapologetically themselves but obvious major asterisk don't hurt anyone else like mentally mentally physically be unapologetically yourself as long as you're not destroying somebody else's ability to be unapologetically themselves but also the obvious asterisk do not cause harm to anyone mentally or physically just like just seriously i i don't know because it's just if you're if and it's so cliche, it's so boring, blah, but, you know, just do what you want and do it with all of your heart. And, but just make sure you understand, make sure you understand the, the risks and complications of it, of course. And like, don't, you know, like, I'm not saying quit quit school and become a youtuber and quit school and become a twitch streamer i i mean you can i mean i i didn't i like but just you know know the risks and it's the rewards are clear just make sure you know the risks and if they are fine then they're fine you know like just bada bing bada boom Know what you want, and know what it means to want what you want. And if you still want it, go for it. Like, you you have to understand, like, for any anything that you might want, there's... You can want the process, or you can want the product. Like, if, if you want to be... I mean, this one's a very easy one to talk about. I have a lot of experience with this one. If you want to be a YouTuber... There's a couple reasons you could, like, major reasons. You could be like, I want to be a YouTuber because of the end game. I want to be a YouTuber for the, the final product, which is I want to not have to do anything but play video games. That's because you, that's you wanting it for the, for the final product, like the end goal. And then there's wanting it for the process, which is what I outrageously enjoy. Like, I, I like to sit down for an hour speak my mind talk about random stuff to it like a weirdly high amount of people while sharing games that i love that i think need to be should be appreciated and could maybe help somebody else sit down and and you know like work through things or honestly sometimes just a just a good solid thought-provoking distraction things like that that's that's what i like i love the process i love creating the community i love creating everything like that I love drawing the thumbnails, I love doing, you know, just set, setting things up, collaborating, things like that. I love the whole process. Uh, do, and the reason I would want my end goal of being a full-time YouTube person, for me, for example, would be so that I can do that more, not just, not just so I can play video games more, which is not, which is not even a bad reason to do it, like, if that's your reason, that's your reason. Just know why you want something, know know the risks, and weigh them. And if they're if they make sense to you, do it unapologetically, and just give it a, give it your all. You know, it can be it can be songwriting, it can be nothing, it can be something not create like a creative endeavor. It could literally, hell, it can be it can be math. If you love if you have freaking love math, math it up, man. I don't know. And like I said, I know that none of this is like wild thoughts. You can you can hear you can hear a a simplified one sentence version of this on Disney Channel. Be yourself. Be yourself. 
Mine's be yourself with an asterisk. Be yourself, but understand understand what you want, you know? And that's really hard. That's really hard to understand what you actually want. And to be honest with yourself about it. Because I I don't know. Like I I would love to make a game because I would love to like put my game thoughts of like what I would want a game to be out there. But I don't like the process of making a video game. It does not excite me as much to to sit down and be faced with problems and and like uh, some. I mean, this is not always true. Sometimes I do like to be faced with just problems and puzzles and stuff like that that I got to solve. But when I'm faced then with like a, a a bug that is just I don't even know where to begin. Some people, that is just, like, the, the final thought of actually finally fixing it is just, that's what they live for, you know? Like, finally fixing that problem. That's what they live for. And that's loving the process. But for me, I like, I can like it. But if you have a hard time sticking to something for, the, for like, a long period of time, it might be because the process isn't for you. You know? But if you want something, if you want something enough, you can, you can teach yourself ways to make the process work for you. You can do it in different time period, like, not time periods, different, like, time increments, you know, different, different days of the week, at different times of day, you know, whatever, just different, different styles, different, uh, with a different group of people, blah, 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 fill in the blank, you know? But, yeah, there, there's, uh... You can love the product, you can love the process. I I, lo I would love the product of creating a game. I like the thought... I would like to be a creative director. And I... You know, would I like to do that someday? Maybe. Like, it sounds like a lot of fun. In theory. But I have no idea, you know? I don't know the process. I don't know the process. And I... The reason I'm not one is because... Just that I've had other things that the process entices me more. And that's where I'm at. But, I don't know. Asterisk Part 2. You can change what you want to do. You can change what you like. Huge asterisk. <laughs> you, you don't have to... You don't have to choose what you what you like. And what your, uh, your end goal is. Immediately. Especially, especially for kids going through school still, if you're listening to this. It is fine to not know what you want. And it is, it is, it's even fine, you know, like, and especially if you're, like, in a place where you're really pressured to go to the college or something like that, in a situation like that. You, you know, it's, it's fine to, to wait to do it. It's fine to take, to take a year, figure out exactly like what you want to get from the process this is insane this runs nuts this runs stupid i'm not even gonna get bracket key i'm not even gonna get it because i'm i'm happy with my synergy um but yeah you can you can wait a year or whatever like to to go and make your decision it's, it's that's totally fine and maybe even a great idea you know? Or to go just get, like, general education type stuff out of the way before you do anything. Stuff like that. Because otherwise you're going to be in a situation where you feel like you've made your decision. Maybe it was based off of... Based off of liking the product or, you know, liking the idea of something. I don't know. It's, it's wild. It's wild. Anywho. This is, uh... This is all I got for today of the uh, Rito, Rito inspiration with an asterisk hour. Like, it, it's... <laughs> I'm, I'm like a... I don't know. Like, be, be positive. Like, love yourself. The end. <laughs> this is Ben. I'm Retromation. You're watching Disney Channel. Let's kill something.
Honestly, yeah, we, we kind of got Scrambler, and from then it's just been, uh, like I said, we, we had all our problems solved. All our major problems immediately just got solved when we got the Scrambler. It just checks, it checks too many boxes. And by too many, I mean, please don't nerf it. I love it. It makes me feel relaxed. It makes me feel relaxed enough to go on a, on a self-love tangent. That's got to be good. But, I don't know. I hope everybody's having a good day. Gah! Good morning. People who are sleeping. I wonder if other people on YouTube get get offended when they hear that people go to sleep to their videos. Because I, I think it's great. You know, in a way. Like, obviously, <laughs> you, you can clearly draw the line like, oh, I get it. Yeah, I'm so boring. You're falling asleep. But I also, I think of it like I'm relaxing enough and familiar enough to fall asleep to the most vulnerable state. They're not even afraid for a second I could jump out of the computer and get them. Until now. Wake up. Wake up. Good morning. Sufficiently creeped out? I'm sorry. This has been a weird episode. I'm okay with it. There's 199 just just since AG and these come out. So I think uh, if one of them wants to go off the rails a little bit, <laughs> one, <laughs> one of them wants to go off the rail a little bit, I celebrate that. I I, I like that. I kind of want to push more towards, you know, letting let, being free with it. Like, what's the what's the point? I, what's the point of not being free with it? Feels disingenuine. To not just say what I'm thinking. Just be myself. <clears throat> Me. Be unapologetically my, myself. And if everybody wants to leave, that's okay. That's fine. If your personality drives them away, that's okay. That's fine. Right? I hope it. I hope it doesn't. And I hope you. I hope you all are having a good day. And if you're not, I hope I didn't have not made it worse at the very least. If I made it better, that's uh, that's real great. I, I God, I live for here. Now that's so. Ex that's just so pleasing. That's so pleasing to know that sitting here, thinking around, is just like helping some helping somebody like. Getting a, getting a distraction where they need one or, you know, feeling, just feeling engaged, feeling, feeling like they're hanging out with someone in a way. That, that really, that, that gets me. That's just, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. And I get those comments a lot. And it blows my noodle, man. It blows my noodle to hear how many people have that story. Because, like, that, obviously, that's a story I have, too, you know? Like, I've, I've totally been there. Like, I've completely been there. Where it's like, you, you want somebody to listen to on YouTube. It kind of, it kind of feels like you're you're hanging out. It kind of feels like you're playing the game together. Stuff like that. Ba 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 ba. What is this? Oh, the chicken egg synergy. Did you just sh shoot a bigger egg? Or is that from something else? I don't know. Anyway, we got uh, we got Holy Grail, we got Magic Sweep. This son of a gun is popping off. Yeah, I don't know what's the deal with the synergy. It looks like it's maybe just making it bigger. Slash doing more damage. Was that a mimic? I guess I never knew what happened if you shot a mimic with AK-47. Kind of figured they would like just start taking damage. It's good to know otherwise, though. AK-47 on a on a cursed run would be quite juicy then. No. Double no. Double no seven. Come on. Get him. Oh. This is a problem. We've we've crafted quite a pickle. Crafted quite a pickle. 
Everybody. Be good. Be good to yourself. Ooh. It's all good. It's all, that's what I gotta say. Take care of yourself. Take care of others if you have the energy to. Ooh. But take care of yourself first, too. Ooh. You're worth it. You're freaking worth it. Oh! Get him, got him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ammo is not that exciting anymore because uh, we don't really need it. I want the Morning Star. Yeah, man, I want that. As if this run was not banging enough. We take those. What am I doing with that bomb? Okay, can we get the chicka fi Chicken action? No, don't you. Forget about me. 50 piece, that's a morning star. Hey. Uh. Polaris. Eh, probably should have got the racket key, huh? We haven't really used the little bomber. We can. Justice Tom says, if you ever lose the streak, you're going to make the title of the video something that hints to it, or will it be a total surprise? Knowing, I don't know <laughs> for sure. It's however I feel that day, to be honest. But I probably, like, whether or not I, I'll, I won't be like, streak's over! I that's, I'll, definitely won't do that. But I will very likely do something like that allude, maybe alludes to it sub, like in a way that you wouldn't understand until you watch the video or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. You'll find out when it happens. If it happens. <laughs> What is this? I knew there was going to be a synergy. What is it? Mm. Boo, it's boring. So inaccurate. Oh! Aw, oh, man. Biggest bummer is that we have to do the dang old rooms again. Also, this thing is so inaccurate, which is so weird. Dog dug up a shield. It's gonna be stolen, isn't it? Yep. That's a bummer. Not a big deal, though. We're kinda killing it. It's one of those runs where I, I was able to turn my brain off because I was on a tangent, so now nothing is nothing is risky at all. Everything's wonderful now. Achy breaky. Infinite ammo gun sun. If we didn't already have this before and it wasn't outrageously late in the game, I'd be really excited. I don't know what to use. We have the the Scrambler, we got the Morning Star, which is probably the highest DPS, but does put us at a risk of not being able to dodge. We got a lot of choices. Oh my god, I, I, did, I didn't really know how to handle that incoming wave there. Normally they're not perfectly spaced like that. I think this does more damage than the Scrambler. Oh, please. Hi! Ooh, mama! Ooh, mama! <laughs> Too close for comfort. I think Morningstar is gonna be the best bet for the, uh, for the one cycle. 
I don't think we're gonna get a one cycle. Maybe with the chickens if we get it perfectly. Maybe. Hey, there's a chance. I missed with the bomb. Yeah. I kind of, I just didn't really think so. It does a lot of damage. But I just, for some reason I knew it wasn't one cycle damage. One cycle damage has to be pretty exceptional or you have to combine a couple things that are pretty wild. Oh boy. Sam! Sam Carone 55 Mr. Mod, Mr. Friend asks, this is on very on topic. If you were to create a game, what genre would it be? That is a uh, pretty, I mean, well, first of all, I have created a game. It is not a full game. It is not a real big game. <laughs> it is not a good game, but it is on the Google Play Store. It is called Squirp. It is a uh, infinite jumper game where you play as a squirrel jumping from a branch to a branch. It is not great, but it was my first attempt. It was my first attempt ever at a video game, like a, like a real one. It's not a it's not a big one, it's not a good one, but I wanted to I have this horrible thing where my, like my other attempts at games were just wholly way too ambitious as a first one. Like I wanted to make a first person shooter uh roguelite. At, I wanted to make a uh, top down action RPG. I wanted to make what else? Wanted to make a card game multiple times. Wanted to make a, a card game. Would you just die? But, I mean, I feel like I would probably have to go with some form of roguelite. Or just like a, like, I don't know. I love the idea of combining multiple genres in a way that hasn't really been super done before. The yeah, the I don't know. If it if it if I were to pull a thought out of my butt right now what some of the things that would be featured, I feel like it would probably be a top down top down roguelite. Like it it would probably be a twin stick shooter and it would probably involve it probably involve a lot of animals like anthropomorphic style but cute animals like combining combining a weird like a weirdly like non-serious like jokey jokey kind of a world i just went in a loop that'd be that'd be my best guess if i pulled it out of my bottom right now probably a twin stick shooter if i were to guess or a card game or a card game of some sort. Or maybe a, maybe a top-down roguelite with deck-building elements. Who knows? I don't know. Or Squirp 2. Download now on the Google Play Store for a game that I no longer have access to the password to get into. So it is permanently stuck on the Christmas update. hey -o. I don't know. It's a, it's effectively a finished finished ish game, but I there are some aspects of it that I immediately really wish I wouldn't change. I think I, I learned a decent amount of game from game of about game design from making that game like such a such a small game. Like I th I think it's a pleasing game psychologically to to dink around with. I don't know. You need a Google Google Play. You need to play it on like. You can probably play it on PC too, I guess, with an emulator of some sort. Am I proud of it? I. Uh, I'm proud that I finished. Finished with an asterisk. It. That's that's about it. I. I don't know. 
could have been a hell of a lot worse. That's that's what I'll say about it. For for a first attempt at a completed project, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. And that's where I am with it. But there's been a lot of attempts at, attempts at video games over the course of my my lifespan. Like starting starting from a really young age with uh, with Game Maker, making stuff that was like garbage and a half. But I don't know. That was the only only one that that I set out for a plan to, uh, to to finish it with. And that's just because it's a a dinky little mobile game. That's why. I don't know. I I, I probably I don't know if I would make another mobile game because I just. Like, you've probably heard on answers to questions recently that I just, I don't play a lot of mobile games. Maybe it'd be fun to make it a challenge, like, make a mobile game that I want to play. I don't know, that that's something, but... I don't know. Boop, 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 boop. It's a bit limiting. But so is not knowing how to make a game. <laughs> so, there's that. But I, I just don't have... I don't really have time for the process. I don't know if I have a desire for the process. We'd, we'd have to see. It seems like the kind of thing where I feel like I'd have to work... With, with my mentality and, and time, I'd have to work with somebody on making a game. And I don't know what I how much I could really provide. That's stupid. If I were to make a game, I wouldn't put that in there. Jeez. Dodge roll. I made squirt. And Squirp doesn't have any BS like that in it. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I mean, it's, like, especially... I, I, I think... Hopefully this doesn't sound full of myself or full of, full of whatever let, let's play type thing. I feel like if you are playing games on YouTube and you're doing it in a way that's s focused on the design and focused on like min-max aspects and stuff like that, I feel like you inherently are going to have a better dis um, a better or you're, uh, correction, you are practicing the skill of critique inherently, like sometimes whether you know it or not, like you, you are because sometimes you play, like if you uh, until I, wow that's a really good get. You know, did YouTube and, like, actively set out loud all these things that I'm subconsciously feeling. Like, this feels off. Like, this certain thing feels off. Maybe this is why. This is unfair. This doesn't make sense. Stuff like that. Comparing it to other games. I I didn't do that very much. So it'd be, it'd be fun to make a game, you know, after I've accrued this... this some sort of knowledge like I'm not I'm not trying to say it's as good as even like a person who's been making games for like one year but I'm just saying you know it, it's a it is clearly practicing the ability to think critically about what's going on in games you know what works what doesn't but that's in the same vein game reviewers don't necessarily make game good games, you know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I don't, I don't really have any stories, anecdotes to pull out of my butt about game developers making games, but I'm what I'm saying is I'm not trying to claim game... Re wow, that was not actually my keyboard. Um, oh, I'm not trying to say any anybody who reviews or can review or whatever will immediately make a good game and I'm definitely not saying I could but I think that there's there's some some traits that could be passed along oh my god no sir like like for instance it is been very obvious to me from the beginning that the lich should not be able to do that move the wall move immediately following the circle move it is just it doesn't make sense but like obviously you know it's a very insulin 
Ooh, isolated incident. And I, like, at the same token, I don't know how to make this game. Ooh. But, you know, people, people could learn if they wanted to. If, they, if you want to learn anything, you can. That was a really, like, sloppy, sloppy fight. Because we were busy with tangents. That is a streak of 150! 150 or more to see. It's as many as there are original Pokemon. Each one of these episodes could be renamed the Pokemon, and I would have enough if you don't count Mew. Oh wait, if you don't count Togepi, you don't count Mew. Is it Mew? I think it's Mew. It's Togepi 152. I know they did something. They did something weird with him. Never mind. This is the end of a video. It's not not the time to get into that. But that is gonna do it for today. Today was wild in the build department. Too easy. Too, too easy. Thank you everybody for watching. Greatly appreciate any all support we received on the series up to this point. Subscribe for daily Gungeon <laughs> nonsense like this. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Retromation to catch me live. Talk to me more directly. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.